Let us all pray silently, meditating on God's words. Living God, God, oh, I have faith and believe that you are God Almighty today. The blessings that you have prepared for us help us to be the wise person that makes it ours. The problems in our family help us to receive answers to our problems with our family this evening. Let us be changed into blessed people and let the children be children who honor their parents who are godly children, help them to be contributors to their country and let them, be, uh, let them have love between brothers and sisters. To many people, let them be righteous servants of yours who benefit many. Uh, help them to receive the promise of that blessing. Let this be an evening where we make that blessing ours. Help us to be individuals who wear your joy that you give. Help us to give the promise of the peace that you give us and help us to be able to handle it. Help us to have faith that we'll be individuals who are blessed and help us to have resolution to our problems. Have faith that we'll have healing of our disease and sickness and let that those who are have scars in their heart, let them have peace in their heart in, instead. In the name of Jesus, I give thanks and blessings. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended, descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and was seated on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now, let's greet the person next to us. Let's wear the joy. Let's let's have the joy. Let's wear the joy. Let's uh, let's have the joy. Let's wear the joy. When we wear and have that joy, then we'll have peace in our heart. Those who came from the United States, and there's many people who came to uh, who went to the United States many times. They visited many times. They don't consider the backgrounds. I don't know the details. They don't have background first, but they consider what what they can do. It's not about where they went to school, but it's what they, about what they can do. That's that country. That era will come in our country as well. But Koreans are more stuck on what school they went to, what my children, where my children went to school. We're going to follow the rules that way. We have to go beyond that. We have to go the path, the right, find the right path to move forward. Now, up until now, baby Jesus about his birth. I don't know that much about theology, but when I paid money to learn lies, that's what they're saying. They say, rejoice, the Savior is born. That's for the whole world. It's a promise to give blessings for the whole world. The fact that Christ has come, they don't. if they don't know it, it's of no use. So this evening, this uh, vigil service, why did you come here? That when you're surely going to fall into ruins, your family's going to fall into ruins, your children all have to die, your family has to all die, your assets, uh, your assets and your uh, employees are all going to be gone? Resolving that problem, that's vigil service, that's Genesis 32, 30, 33. We're here to receive answers to that prayer. The key to that answer is the mystery of Christ. Rejoice, your Savior is born. Your Savior has been born. So churches, those people who share the word of God, they say, they're so poor. They, and they, God, he came as, as Jesus, as a Christ. It's not just for the poor. That it's, he didn't come just for the poor. He came for all people. Earlier I said that about the poor, it's, it's referring to that Jesus didn't come just for the poor. Because it's not just for the poor that Jesus came. Don't say mistakenly like that. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 1. When you look there, that's not the case. Even King David, 
who was uh, so wealthy and doing so well, Jesus came for him as well. And also for the lepers, whoever it is, it will work well for them if they accept Jesus Christ. Jesus came for them. And yet people talk about just helping the poor. How wealthy and how good are you that you're trying to help just the poor? The true wealthy person is the person that God is with. They're with God. On this, We leave everything on this land. Anyway, it's not even theirs. Don't mistakenly think you're wealthy if you're going to just leave the wealth for the righteous. If you have that kind of uh, mindset, you don't receive anything good. You only receive curses and calamities. Why are the churches like that today? They say they believe in Jesus. Why are they not the light and they're in darkness instead? According to God's promise, God has promised the light. God's light, the mystery, the light of Christ. If we don't see that, we can't see anything else. If you're in the under the lamp, when you see a color, but when you see it under the uh, the sun, it's a different color. Why? Because the light is different. It, sees, it makes our eyes see it differently. So before you, what has been prepared, all the blessings, healing of disease, prob- resolution to problems, all of that, you have to look to the light of Christ for you to be able to see it. When you don't see that, that's why you're not able to see the blessings. That's why. De- uh, Deuteronomy 30, verse 15, that's why that blessing does not become ours. That's what's before us. So what happens? In our own thoughts, they say, honey, this is a blessing, that's a curse. So I have this kind of thought. I have to do the opposite. No, how much, no matter how much you do the opposite, when you, the person that has curses and has their own thoughts, they have their own theories and they have their own ways. And no matter how much they try and no matter how much they turn around, there's only curses. No matter how much, you have to be changed over to receive blessings. And yet people don't even know that and they say they believe in Jesus. That's why Christ has no effect on them. There's no need for them. They have not shared Christ, and they say they're a pastor. Those who don't even know Christ, they say they're an elder and deacon. That's why you and your household, you'll only receive curses and calamities instead. And yet they still don't have realization of this. Let's have proper realization. This gospel is for you and me. It's the light of, the light of Christ. If it's not for this light of Christ, if it's not for the light of Christ, the peace, we're not able to make it ours. We're not able to give glory to God. We cannot say, rejoice, our Savior is born. But rather, we have our only curses and calamities. So without this Christ, without going through Christ, we cannot see our blessings. We cannot see the blessings before us. So each, I don't know what color you are. We, I am, but when you look at that color, no matter under the light, no matter how much they see it, they see it as a different color. But this this color under the sun is a different color. Why? Because Is it because I'm, twi- I'm two different people? No. No, because... The reflection of the light, depending on the reflection, even if it's the same color, when you see it under a different light, under the sun, it's a different color. That's why the worldly knowledge and wisdom, what they think they're so good, what they learned, what they learned with uh, lies in schools, when you see these uh, words through those eyes, you cannot see it properly. Only You have to see it through the light of Christ, these words. So if you don't even know that, and they're looking at the Bible, so they're fakes. Now, Matthew chapter 1, verse 23 Verse 24, 25, you can read it on your own freely. So, verse 24, 24, 24, 25, it's very important. When you get married between husband and wife, it's not to gather people together to feed them, to have them f- to f- feed people. But Joseph brought brought Maria and just only fed her food. What, what is that? To show that he can restrain and refrain his fleshly ways. About, it's very important, but in the sh- in a limited amount of time, we want to share only that which uh, will en- enable us to receive answers to our prayers. Matthew chapter one verse twenty three. Let's read only that. Let's read with one voice. Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and shall bear a son, and they shall name his call his name Emmanuel, which translate means God with us. Amen. Today, for me, as much as I have time, I listen to the uh, the Catholic uh, radio station or ca- Catholic station and Christian station during Christmas to see what they're saying, uh, good things about about God. But I couldn't hear anything. I listen to a certain station. They just had music. There's a. They say, "Open the hearts, open the hearts." So why don't you say "Amen"? Why don't you clap? They said. So another place, when I went to a different station, they talked about Jesus and his uh, birth, and they talked about, they showed the uh, 
nativity and uh, it's a little better but the light of Christ if you look at it without the light of Christ and you comment on it then you're all saying foolish things if you look under the lamp they're talking about the color under the lamp but under the sun it would be a different color so I want to listen to that if I was foolish I would have stayed and listened but it was very unfortunate so we talk a lot about theology and people think they need to go to seminary what do they teach and uh, in seminary what did the seminarians do Jesus he was born surely it was it, that's for sure but is it the right date or not they're always arguing about that isn't that unfortunate P pathetic the date has to be accurate if that's the case then at that time like today if we had the computer to have accurate time then we can share Christ more accurately but but at that time the Jesus disciples Jesus God moved them on what certain day if he said that what they can say oh this is fake or this is real they would argue about, over that why they're arguing over it's not what day he came the fact that he came that you and I to save us from our sins that's the most important relevant fact and to be freed from us being uh, uh, not free but from the, the event of receiving blessings and happiness and going to heaven we're talking about that those events and uh, those issues those those things not about the specifics of the dates I don't have time and they they talk what what are they going to talk about in terms of what they say in seminary what good is that we just have to share the word of God if I want to share that pastor's wife says why don't you be more specific more detailed that's uh, I don't know but it doesn't say if you go you are saved when you go into Christ and become a new new uh, new made anew but not to know the specifics of the dates that's not the issue we talked about how many years ago and uh, before AD before BC just because you know a little bit of foreign language they say it's B or C who, who doesn't know that if you take out A it's B and C they talk about what era what year BC and so forth some people go the 6th century BC and AD 4th and 5th century for around 10 they talk about when he Jesus truly came that's not what the important thing is the fact that he surely was born is important the fact that he came is what's important so at that time when you examine the history is quite different the, at the time the calendar was not even consistent they talk about which day which which month which day those who like to argue about that they say oh look at this that's why it's a lie they always argue about that because of the dates and so forth that's God used the disciples you you saw during what era of what king I saw this during what era of what king the era of the kings yeah, people argue over that even now when you go to the seminary you pay money to listen to the arguments around that it's of no use though so if we talk about that what good is it here it's of no use so if there's one trash it was there it's, it's one trash what day what was it there from and what day that it was is it there till that's not the value the fact that there's a trash can there that's the value so here it's saying in chapter in Luke the fact that the uh, Lord came the, the birth of Christ that and the relationship with us with me on that and what's Emmanuel here today let's read it one more time behold the virgin shall be with child and shall bear a son and they shall call his name Emmanuel which translated means God with us amen each of you it says don't forget that it's with us God with us we could be a king we or we could be a beggar way below but here today when we say about sharing the gospel they talk about helping our poor neighbors so that's very fascinating it's for all people why do we only focus on the poor so that's why or the less fortunate so it's quite wrong people think that Jesus came from only the poor or only for the poor it's for all of us why do you look at it with a limitation like that that's a problem so you're starting a lie from the very beginning so you and I we're all qualified we're all uh, included in this what's Emmanuel yeah, he didn't say qualified he said we're all included God being with us who is God 
a virgin was going to have a child, a son. The virgin will have a son. Today, according to today's theory, it really wouldn't make sense. People would be beat up for that. So, if you want to doubt that, like a virgin being born, then we cannot see the Bible anymore. If we don't believe in that, if it's if we're stuck on that, then we can't see it anymore. So when uh, before it, it says they were birthed by the Holy Spirit. If you Second Peter chapter one verse twenty twenty one, First Peter one twenty to twenty one. Those who don't even know how to see the Bible and how can they have a deacon or a title at a church? But if the demon inside of me has departed, how can we be qualified to look up the Bible? Look at the Bible. It's very quite pitiful if we don't believe in the Bible, even though we have a title at a church, like elder or deacon. So today, Emmanuel, Matthew chapter 1. Emmanuel? What's Emmanuel? A virgin birth a son, not a daughter, and call his name, call that child's name Emmanuel. Who is this Emmanuel? It says Christ Jesus. So therefore, each of you, you say, if you're doing four-star repentance, then you'll be Emmanuel. God will be with us. God will be with me. So why would God, why must God be with me? First Samuel two six. Let's look that up. It's very unfortunate. So you say you attend church and you came all the way to Busan First Church. If you're not go about able to go beyond the curses and calamities, and you're bound by your own thoughts and theories, there are so many people who are being captain of the demons. Those kind of people. The way they eat the word of God, accept the word of God, their attitude is already different. When you, you can see, when you see how they eat, the chickens that they're going to die, when you feed them, they don't eat the feed. And the way they eat the feed is different. They're already very weak. And they're very, and the way they use their uh, beaks is different. Other are busy to eat, and there are, others are busy to eat the feed. But the, the ones, those who are sick, they don't eat, they, they eat it like this. They don't eat what they're supposed to eat, and they have only excuses, and they have only complaints, and then they eat chi 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 like that, they, and they go to where there's their body is warm, their mindset, attitude is, and and it's not straight. Their body is not straight. Their eyes is not. They're already do dozing off even, and then they don't eat what they're supposed to eat, and pretty soon that they die. If they're so. Lackadaisical. Romans 2 6, God says He'll pay back to us according to our deeds. Receiving those kind of curses and calamities, doing the deeds to do that, and then they don't understand the piercing of trying to be a proper human being. They just rather not rather hear it. To those people, God is not first in them. Their flesh is their prior priority. Always. Their children are their priority. Always. Their work is their priority. After worship, where are you going? Oh, there's, uh, I'm busy at home. Of course. That's how you can fall into ruins. Your children can fall into ruins and everything falls into ruins. You're doing the deeds of falling into ruins and yet you don't even know it. They're the fools. Oh, God's saying He will pay back to us according to our deeds and actions. Second Corinthians 5.10. Very unfortunate. So, those with demon inside like that, evil spirits like that, they don't hear the words of listen and receive blessings. And then they say, they're holding on to something that they can pick on and find argument with. And they see it uh, under the light of the lamp. And the fools and others will see it under the light of the lamp. Oh yeah, the color is surely this color, right? Yeah, it's this color for sure, right? And those with demon inside, those who have not received the Holy Spirit, they say, yes, that's right. I saw it clearly. It's that color. But when you see it under the light, it's a different color. So that's why the pastor is talking about the color under the, under the sunlight. But they're looking at it under the lamp and say, hey, look, it's this color. Doing those kind of deeds and receiving curses and calamities, it's very pitiful. So here today, you can see now, see the person next to you, see each other, look at each other. If you have always excuses, reasons, complaints, they think they're the first. What they're doing is most important. Then you will receive curses and calamities. Matthew six thirty three. If we don't seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and we'll fall into ruins. Yet they do those deeds, and yet they want to know why things aren't working out well for them. If we only love God, the blessings are set before us. It's already prepared before us. What we have not seen with our eyes, what your, your ears have not heard, what your heart has not even thought of, 
First Corinthians 2 9 he said he'll give us all of that blessings we're here to receive that blessing for us to be to be saved and revived in the education department we have to all receive these blessings it's so good like this when it's so good then we take it we omit it all this good things each of you in your family when the, you don't have descendants and for if you came for, if there's only one descendant for many many generations and after four or five um, 40 or 50 years you have a marriage and you have a child then they'll be a, they'll be so joyful to have a child an offspring and you'll have a festival but and uh, then when so people when they go for the fortune telling and all that and pretty soon they after a few days they're going to die you have to be successful to have a festival after a child has birth and they're weak instead of being thankful to God they go to the shamans and they do the festivals of like the worldly things and after they have that's why people die early when they, the child dies early because they go to the uh, fortune tellers they say say they partied so much, uh, they had so many parties on the child, and they, the child died early just because they went to the fortune tellers and the child was not healthy. They said, oh, my ancestors, or this. So, so then that's why they say, oh, when we told them preciously, then they died early, they were unhealthy, so they gave, they gave them the name of dog dung. So, so the precious, they, the Korean tradition is that when they treat them preciously, they die. So they treat, name them like dog dung, so that they'll hopefully that it's their superstition of saying maybe they'll be more healthy. The children of precious household is like that. They, even though it's like that now, some in some household does does it work? It doesn't work. Some which Bible says if you wear the uh, beggar's clothes that you're going to do well. God wants us to come back towards Him. Emmanuel, you, uh, us, us with Him. The virgin having a child. I don't know who they are. But this person. God will make us with Him. Makes us, us with God. Emmanuel, the, this virgin had a child, had bore a son. He is the Christ. His name. This is an incredible promise. Now, here today, Emmanuel, us meeting God and us being with Him, that promise, Him being with us, so that all of us, that it will work out for us. This Emmanuel, just, He's the one that kills and makes alive. He's the one that gives us blessings and takes it away. Even though you're in the trash heap, He will exalt you high. If we read through verse 10, so we'll, there'll be roses, flowers blooming from the trash heap. It's all recorded here. But we don't have time to read it all, so let's read verse 6 and 7. The Lord kills and makes alive. He brings down to Sheol and raises up. The Lord makes poor and rich. He brings low. He also exalts. Amen. Do you say amen? Yeah. Emmanuel. God. A virgin. Oh, what a headache. It says virgin. So... We shouldn't believe, no. It doesn't make sense, you may say. How can a virgin bore a child? Why do we believe in that, you may ask. But the virgin bore, bearing a child, through the child of the virgin, that you and I, that we can be one with God, This being this incredible person, becoming this incredible person, say amen if you want these blessings to be our blessings, to be my blessings. We have to make this, in the education department, we have to, and <coughs> we have to receive this blessing as our own. What's Emmanuel? He who gives, kills and makes alive, him being with us. He who gives us blessings and takes it away, him being with us. Who bore that son? A virgin. The, the fact that a virgin bore a son? So, the people who are of the flesh sees it fleshly ways. But today, Emmanuel, the events of Emmanuel, Isaiah 7.14. But already God has spoken it. it has been, it's, it's being fulfilled. Oh, it's here today. Emmanuel, Matthew 1, 23, and verse 24, 25 then. In the dream, he heard that. And Joseph, the flesh, the carpenter who's the fleshly father of Jesus, Jesus' mother, the virgin, he took the virgin, Mary, until the child was born, according to God's, he did not sleep with her. 
and he they had the child and the, the child that they had is Christ Jesus so Christ Jesus when he came what did he give us to you and me no matter how much we want to live well on this earth earth a lowly is lowly a, a Brahmin is a Brahmin a, a peasant is always a penitent. if you become a Brahmin and change into a Brahmin you become a we were not free from sin we were just locked in our place Romans 6 16 we were locked and we our heart is in pain and we are in so much torment and we sought freedom but this freedom only we, he gives it to us in Christ the through this child that was born from a virgin this Christ when you go to the seminary they talk about try uh, Christ they take it intellectually but you do that for a thousand years you don't become it's not Emmanuel according to what the Bible teaches Matthew chapter 1 verse 1 let's look that up so through Christ we find our roots our genealogy our through forced step repentance me who was a pe peasant without freedom but to become a Brahmin a person that can happen according to their wishes find our roots to find peace in our heart that's Christ chapter 1 verse 1 the Lord makes poor and the record of the genealogy of Jesus the Messiah the son of David the son of Abraham Genesis chapter 2 verse 1 the from Abraham who is the source of blessings the child of David is the, um, the son of David the son of Abraham Jesus Jesus the Christ it's the genealogy of Jesus Christ so here in chapter 1 verse 1 through Christ we find our our roots our genealogy so here who bore who after that it says who bore who who bore who it doesn't say about eating the seaweed because that's what Koreans do when they have birthed somebody but in verse 17 the fact that who bore who in verse 17 I will see then There's four, 14 generations. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. And from David to the deportation to Babylon, 14 generations. And from the deportation to Babylon to the Messiah, 14 generations. And, and then that's when we can have our genealogy. So who is David? Who is Abraham here and in there? there and who is harlot Rahab within there? And who is that harlot Rahab within that? from the king to the harlot it's all they're all it can all applicable it's the whole word of hope for everybody it's applicable it's all included even for if you're a widow for everybody it would work so whoever it's the promise that whoever it is it could work it's an incredible promise so here today the fact that you're all all came here that for everybody here you can all do well it's all it includes all the people living on this land it could include everybody that's what it's saying it's Jesus came on this land. He said for everybody, it would work. You may think you're wealthy, but you're a beggar as well. So, because of money, you think you were wealthy because of money, you're ignorant. You're, above money is fame. Above fame is, uh, is the favor of God. Proverbs, Proverbs 22, verse 1. If you don't even know the value system, that's not... Those people who want to be famous on this world, in this world, there's not that's not a proper human being above that is being having God with us having God seeking God's favor Proverbs 3 chapter 3 verse 4 chapter 3 verse 3 and 4 this truth we have to not have factions or dissensions. we have to not judge others he gives it to us then Romans chapter 2 verse 8 this truth that he gives to us when we don't judge others in fact create factions in the church and divisions in the church Romans chapter 2 verse 8 what we receive this truth that we receive through Christ only to those people they have they receive favor from God they they they're in God's favor if you, and then John, John 1 17 if you don't know it you shouldn't even share it but if you know what to do in your work you can tell others if you do this it will work so it, when they say it doesn't work you say try again oh they tried this it doesn't work for example if you want to make Costella custard it's very delicious it becomes a very soft bread if you ask someone to make it it, there's people who can't make it and it becomes so so hard instead of so soft we tried it and 
decades ago, my wife went and she bought a, an oven and it was very difficult to make castella then, custard then. My wife, she had a recipe, but it didn't work. The person that knows how to make it, the person that knows how to do it, they don't share a sermon based on notes, sermon notes. They just share the sermon. And then, when you're doing something, they can diagnose where you did wrong. That's the, and if you correct it, then you'll, then it'll go well. That's what Jesus did. We have to receive these blessings. When it doesn't work for you, it won't work for others. Here today, that bread, when we were making that bread, that, that custard, that she learned something so good. This is decades ago. She learned something good. She wanted to boast as well. She, she told me to uh, beat the eggs. And then she was preparing something else. I was crazy to eat. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't interested in beating the eggs. So I beat the eggs a little bit and that was it. So she said, did you beat it well? I said, yes, later on. Thus, you know, later I found out that the more you beat the eggs, the softer is the, is the cu custard. So I, was only, so I was only just swirling it. When you're repenting only, that's, not, that's where that's wrong. So it wasn't beat enough. It wasn't custard. It was uh, really hard. Uh, the flour came out really hard. No matter how much you look from the outside, it, it didn't rise up when he took it out from the oven what was it was a tile that you can put up it was so hard a flower tile that you can put on the wall it was hard it was really hard so the the custard we don't know where it was wrong versus what was the, the right custard we didn't know where it was your life in faith is like that if you receive Emmanuel then you'll receive answers to your prayers for everybody. You'll receive power. And for everybody, you'll receive blessings. And for everybody, it will work, even the education department. But it's not working. Why is it not working? Where is it not working? Because Christ, Christ, it's not working. We, we can't go into Christ. We can't find our roots. Let's, after we say that, let's read from verse 18. Let's read from verse 18. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, and they engaged, and they were getting married, and before they they came together, she was found to be with child by the Holy Spirit. This is where the miracle happens, and she was found. So, without receiving the Holy Spirit, each of you, no matter how much you receive these words, it's fake. It won't work. So here today, the churches today, they don't they don't talk, teach about receiving the Holy Spirit first. So that's why. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 20, 21. If you want to read this Bible, receive the Holy Spirit first if you want to read the Bible. And after that, then re you can read the Bible. But they don't do that. They just read it. So they become Pharisees and Sadducees. They become enemy of God. So as much as they see the Bible, they're killing themselves. They're crazy. They go crazy. Proverbs 26 verse 9. They kill themselves. They're studying the Bible like that. So the churches that do a lot of holy, uh, the Bible study, they have a lot of arguments. They break up and they get broken up and they make factions and dissensions and they do all the deeds receiving uh, um, curses before God. They're doing these deeds. They don't realize you have to start with the Holy Spirit. Who? The Holy Spirit, uh, Jesus Christ uh, came in. It says right here, they have to be receive the Holy Spirit. Starting from Abraham through Christ, it talk, after it talks about the genealogy, it ends with Christ. It doesn't end with Jesus. It ends with Christ. So Jesus is above Christ. So they're not two, but one. But if you consider it as a hand, there's one hand, but there's the palm of the hand and the back of the hands. By the same token, it's divided like that. But our, our side is Christ. So this Christ, it says Christ in verse 18, through the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ um, was found to be with child. And the, the mother, was she was found to be with child by the Holy Spirit. Since the, flesh, uh, the fleshly, worldly, fleshly father is Joseph, fleshly mother is Maria. So, so some, so some factions, they, they have to acknowledge uh, Maria, just uh, Joseph, just like Maria, because he, they're the father and mother, fleshly way uh, of the Jesus, but they, but they only acknowledge Maria, but they say, because they say that 
Only Maria is important because Joseph was not part of the birth of Jesus Christ. So others say Maria uh, during the Canaan miracle. The fact that she prayed to Jesus. Uh, you and I are Maria. Not that Maria, and we have to have Jesus Christ in us, like Maria did. That's having because that's having faith. Test whether you're in the faith or not. See if you have Jesus Christ in you or not. This this evening we have to all receive this blessing. Luke chapter one verse twenty-eight. It's a Maria who has received grace. We have to receive that grace. This grace we only receive it through Christ. John one seventeen. So therefore those who don't even know four step repentance they say they received grace that's 100% a lie they're, uh, they're denying the Bible so here today <clears throat> the husband Joseph he was righteous but and then righteous man and not wanting to disgrace her Joseph G Joseph who is the fl fleshly father of Jesus he was a righteous man in God's sight at that time how do you become a righteous man at that time? The Old Testament, receiving forgiveness of sins through Leviticus. He became that kind of person. So therefore, he didn't say, oh, I have to stone her. He just wanted to um, separate from her. Verse 20, so in verse 19, and Joseph, her husband being a righteous man and not wanting to disgrace her, planned to send her away secretly. And when he had considered this, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying he he wanted to just secretly send her away and, and her, the relationship when he thought as a righteous person. But the, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, we... Uh, all, we're all the sons of Abraham and Joseph, uh, Abraham and David. Excuse me. Says Joseph is not calling others, but so, but calling us. Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Maria as your wife. So, it's something he could not understand from a fleshly way. He wanted to send her away and end the relationship. But for the child who has, for the child who has been uh, has been conceived. In her is of the Holy Spirit. He's told in, a, in his dream. So those who have not received the Holy Spirit, th those who have seen the color under the lamp, they don't know the color under the light, the sunlight. The fakes, they don't know it, even though they might sh claim a witness. Only those who have seen under the sunlight will see, for example, and know. So the light of Christ, we have to receive grace. And those who have received faith as a gift, those are the ones who have seen it through the light of Christ. They, they take the blessings that God has prepared for them even today. But the fakes who see it under the lamp, they don't know the true color. So what they take is something else, the blessing. 100%, they're all saying that's right, but what they take is wrong. And then when they see it under the light, it's a different color. Don't live a fake life of faith like that. So what must we do? We have to go into Christ. If we start going to Christ, uh, when we go into Christ, to what point do you receive the Holy Spirit as a gift? Then after that, you meet Jesus when you go into Christ. And after you receive, and in Jesus is the truth. So there's the Holy Spirit after that. So that's Ephesians 4, 32, 4, 21. Yeah. Emmanuel, if God was with you, he's the one that kills and makes alive. He's the one that gives blessings and takes it away. He's the one that gives disease and takes it away. Uh, uh, making our children uh, be intelligent or do bad deeds. He, Jehovah God, He does it, all of it. He prepares all the blessings. We're here to receive Him. as a. He will make us meet Him. If we say rejoice, our Savior is born. We're here to meet Him. So here today, surely it's saying, with Jesus and His mother, Maria, and His father, Joseph, this these three people, the people of this uh, world, on this land, their relationship, its own. If it's not for Christ Jesus, the Holy Spirit, then it won't be Emmanuel. Here today, if we just be, have Emmanuel, become Emmanuel, then all of our problems are solved. So this light, the light of, the, of this world, no matter how much you study and try to figure things out and research it, it's like looking at the worldly things from a commercial light. You only see the fakes. But when you change it with the light of Christ, 
Second Corinthians chapter four verse four. If it's changed with the light of Christ, you can see it, the light of God. The blessings that God has prepared is Emmanuel, God with, with us, according to His promise, according to our wishes, that the law be fulfilled. Receiving this blessing is Christmas. This is rejoice. Our Savior is born. <coughs> so this is truly a great promise, isn't it? The blessing He has prepared all before us. The fact that we ruined it all, He can fix it all for us. Romans 4.17, even the dead He'll make alive. What does what we don't have, He can make into ex ex existence. God can, when we see it in the light, by the light of Christ, not by the light of the world. The light, what we see under the light of a lamp. What color do we see? It's, is it yellow? What we see with the light of a lamp? It's different than the when we see it under the light, the sunlight. It's a, when we see it by sunlight, oh, it's a completely different color, people say. What is that? So, when you show anybody, they say, oh, it's a certain color that's definite, but when you see it with a different light, it's different. We have to see it with the light of Christ so we can see everlasting life and our own blessings. We can see it clearly. Otherwise, we cannot see it. So therefore, rejoice, our Savior is born, Christ coming. We have to make this blessing ours. We all have to make this blessing ours, that Christ our Savior is born. What a precious promise this is. So now, verse 21. So he says to Joseph, the father of Jesus, we read through verse 20, right? She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. For he will, oh, isn't that strange? Why didn't it say Christ? It says Jesus. In Luke, Christ came, it says. Here it says Jesus, say it's Jesus. So surely God has said this. So listen carefully. So in the 66 books of the Bible, it's one. The four gospel is one. In Matthew 1, if we say only that's important, that's fake. So each of you, if you don't know, if you want to know your father, you have to see him from all angles. Your father, when you see it only from the side, then when you see it on the straight, uh, on the straight face, uh, then it's, he's not your father. If you look only, there are if you look at it in, in Matthew, but when you look at it in Luke, it's oh, he's not your father. So if you take out any of the Bible of God uh, verses, then then Revelation 22:19, then it will be fake. Will be his people, for he will save his people. Uh, and how do we become his people? Only through the mystery of Christ. Those who have not become his people, they talk. They say, Jesus, Jesus. So, it's very detestable. Have you, did, did you heal other people? Matthew 7, 24, I will not know you, even though you uh, say, Lord, Lord, and you had miracles in my name. Are we God? They want to be with Jesus. The fake churches are like that. Are they gone? So those without Christ, they're sharing the sermon that's hellward bound. Without, if you don't have Christ, rejoice. Our Savior is born. It has nothing to do with us. God's glory and our peace has nothing to We have no relationship with it. So going into Christ, we becoming His people. God, when He goes to Christ, we become a new creation. He makes us His people. Only this per person has a relationship with Jesus. Jesus, whoever it is, he, He's not... Jesus doesn't connect everybody, anybody with his people, uh, with God, only his people. This Jesus is born. We have to know this. We have to properly know this. We have to properly know this. He connects only his people with God. So the fakes, they only memorize this. So that's Romans 2.13. They're the ones that are going to receive curses and calamities. They're not able to change it into actions, uh, deeds. If they change into deeds and actions, then they're not... They're not the, the weak chicken that doesn't feed or have the right eyes and is healthy. Is, is, but if they close their eyes, they don't feed while other chickens are eating. Other chickens are eating so, so actively, but this one is the one that's, there's, they're in a corner somewhere else and they're only doing that. They're receiving curses and calamities. So they only hear the word, but they're not able to change it into deeds or actions. They have nothing to do with these words. Let's not be that kind of person this evening. Let's be a person that can follow in deeds and be obedient to the word of God to receive answers to our prayers, that receive, uh, can receive all these blessings. This is the promise of rejoice, our Savior is born. 
God being with us. Rejoice, our Savior is born. God being with us, Emmanuel. So that's why our uh, retreat center is Emmanuel Retreat Center. Some foolish people, they don't know what Emmanuel is. The, what's God being with us? How, how is God with us? They don't know. Very fa unfortunate. When you go into Christ, God's mystery forced that repentance. If you don't know it, rejoice, our Savior is born. It has nothing to do with us. So if we're, even though we've gone into Christ today with Jesus, we have to have a relationship with Jesus and connection with Jesus. When you go into Christ, we receive forgiveness of our sins. We become a new person. We become His people. Only His people, who has be those who have become His people, Jesus to God connects them. Jesus connects them with God. When? We have to be godly. Because we don't know this mystery, Jesus is the mystery of this faith. We don't we attend church not even knowing this, so they just blanketly say Emmanuel. That's Matthew chapter one, starting from the king, even to harlot, harlot Rahab, who sells her body. For everybody, it will work. It says so. Whoever it is, it will work. So don't be bound by your past. When you go into Christ, you become a new creation. You're a new person. When you go become a new person. When we receive this blessing this evening, you'll have healing of disease. Your problems are resolved. Your children will be blessed. Your country will be blessed. Let's let this be an evening where we're blessed. Here today, surely in verse 21, his name, the son's name is Jesus. Who is he? His people. Jesus. Those who have gone into Christ, only his people he saves. He he connects with God and resolves their sin. So so. We don't have Christ. It won't work for us. We have to go into Christ. Even though we have gone to Christ without Jesus, we are not connected. With, we cannot be connected with God. So this incredible mystery, don't know it theoretically, but do it in reality. So through the light of Christ, when we see things properly, we are able to discern between good and evil. So your life in the future, you'll go the path that's good, that you'll be led to a right path. Through Christ, you'll be led. Through Christ, you'll be led. We heard to all receive this blessings that this evening. He'll heal our disease, sickness, and that we came with. That will resolve the problems that we have. With Emmanuel, when he's with us, when we're with him. So when God is with us, God being with us, Emmanuel is here. We, we can't do it without Christ. First, Matthew chapter 1, verse 1, through Christ. Rejoice, our Savior is born through that. Whoever it is, whoever it is, will wear this joy. Only those who serve Christ and embrace Christ, has a relationship with Jesus. Jesus, to those who have become his people by coming to Christ, those who are diligently to enforce their repentance, he selects those who are godly and goes to the, gives faith, gives the faith, the person that has faith, Jesus who has, he connects, Jesus connects, verse 23, the people who have gone, who are his people who have gone into Christ. Jesus to us he was fine when we find our roots and we are new in Christ and in Jesus name he connects us and we hold hands with God he who is almighty he resolves our problems that we brought today and he answers our prayers miracles happening that this will be this evening that we all have to receive this blessings we are here to receive this blessings he's such a great God Matthew chapter 1. This is Matthew chapter 1. So, people, they say, they only say this, who bore who? How immoral you are, you only thought, thought about who bore who. <clears throat> but before we talk about that, we realize, oh, this harlot, it will work. This king, it will work. And it says, which Jesus came only for the poor. No, don't say lies like that and fall. It applies to kings and to harlot who sells her body. It applies to her as well. For everybody, it applies to for everybody it will work. So it will work for me as well. It will work for you as well. For each of you. That will, will all be resolved through today. Emmanuel God. That for everybody it will work. We can all receive these blessings. God he's such a wonderful God. But we're not able to give the glory. Why? Because we're not giving thanksgiving. Real thanksgiving. Let's read with verse 23. Amen. Wherever I go, when miracles happen, it's Emmanuel. Whoever it w for whoever it is, it will work. Verse 
according to those words. When I repent and have the Holy Spirit in me, when we, through four step repentance, go into Christ, and when I continue to go into Christ through four step repentance, when I see a person with problem, when I confess and repent that that sin is my sin, Philippians chapter 2, verse 4, if I follow that, if I do according to that, and I cannot be not stained by the world, but when I go into Christ, I cannot be stained by the world. I then when you continue to be in Christ, God, Jesus says, you are my person. It's true that you are my person. It's correct that you are my person. Then God says, yes, I will choose you then. When God chooses you and takes, sends that to Jesus, to those who have been chosen, then faith comes as a gift to them. Ephesians 4, chapter 4, verse 1, and Jesus is the truth of the Holy Spirit. If the Holy Spirit comes to me as well, the demons have departed. So then I am part of Emmanuel, God being with me. When God is with me, with that strength, I say, Lord, that person, let them be, let them, this happen to them. When I say it, and God takes the responsibility, He does His miracles and works. That miracle, that, that answer to prayers, that you and your descendants will receive that answer, and that will happen this evening. This evening. This is Emmanuel, the miracle is happening. God, He's such a wonderful God. Oh, this is jo so joyful. This is so great. For everybody, it will work. For everybody, it will work. That it will be done to them according to their wishes. This is Emmanuel. Because God is with us. God being with us. Why is if a virgin born a child? So why does it say Christ in one place and Jesus elsewhere? Why does it say Emmanuel? Christ Jesus. For all of that working. That it will be it happening according to our wishes. That is Emmanuel. Today, this sharing this news this that's rejoice our savior is born it'll be done according to your wishes for everybody that for everybody it'll be done according to your wishes in the education department for everybody it will work as well receive this blessings and give glory to god so so after that after god is with us that's that's what we all fall each because we're not able to win over the flesh our fleshly ways we fall because we're not able to win over the flesh they have done forced step repentance properly. They have to repent the sins coming out of their heart. But verse 24, 25, when we look there, the flesh, Joseph, who is fleshly, he kept the position of the righteous person. And that's how he was uh, victorious. This, in the dream, Jesus, the revelations, the, the words of angels in, in his dream, he obeyed, the image of him obeying the voice of the angels in his dream. What's most important, most difficult for a person? He restricted himself from, uh, you know, uh, sleeping with his, with his wife. With his wife. Verse, what's verse twenty four, twenty five? It's not Joseph. It's you and me. <clears throat> this precious promise. It's not the words in the Bible, but it's the promise that you and I will receive answers to prayers to today through these words, Emmanuel, God being with us. That will be done according to our wishes. That you, I hope that you all receive this blessings. That you all receive will receive this blessings through Amen. Let's all receive this blessings in the education department as well. Let's all receive uh, this blessings and be a servant of power for the Lord. Let's close our eyes silently. In my heart, that God will make Emmanuel possible. How? When the Holy Spirit. Uh, the Virgin receiving the Holy Spirit. The miracle that happened now through the mystery of Christ we continue with the mystery of Christ that Jesus will be with me inside me that Jesus enables us to go to the, the, the truth of the Holy Spirit when that truth of the Holy Spirit comes a demon inside me departs when the de demon impart, impart inside me departs then it's a news that will work for anybody not Jesus who came to help save harlots but or for kings but for whoever it is even for a harlot who sells her body even for king as well matthew chapter one that's the roots in matthew chapter one it's a promise that whoever it is it will work for them through christ when we do force that repentance which be, being freed from being a slave of of satan the demon but when we continue when we are saved from that when we're continue continue to be righteous that in him, Jesus Christ is in them. Emmanuel, that uh, God will do his works, our problems being resolved, M miracle uh, powers coming forth, receiving the blessings, and blocking the bankruptcy of your business, a person that can do anything and everything, re receiving all of these blessings. That's Emmanuel. After Emmanuel is fulfilled in our life, when we continue to 
We have to restrain from our fleshly ways. That's how we can live a life in the Holy Spirit. That this evening we can, we can receive all that blessings. That you and I will be that. Father God, this hour, the sins coming forth from my heart, the seven sins, the detestable sins, there, we have the seven detestable sins that come forth, the, the sins of not wanting to retain God in my heart. There's, there's dirty sins like that, Lord. From my flesh, the sins of being an enemy of yours, Lord God, it's flowing out from me, this dirty sins, without the blood of Christ. There's no way for us to resolve this. This uh, Help us to resolve it that we may be your people, the people of Jesus. Let's receive, help us to receive the blessings of God being with us. Help us all to receive that blessing. That all of our wishes will be fulfilled. When God is with us, the miracle of Emmanuel being with us. Help us to be witnesses of that. This evening, help us receive answers to our prayers. Let's cry out to the Lord three times and continue to pray that we'll receive answers to prayers and that our, when we pray for our country, our country will do well. And when we pray for our neighbors, the prayer, of the miracle of love, will that it will be fulfilled, that we can receive it all, the blessings that Emmanuel will be, will be fulfilled in our life, the Lord God being with us. Let's cry out to the Lord three times. Lord, Lord, Lord. Through the blood of Christ, let me help me to receive forgiveness of my sins. A wicked person, my own thoughts, my own theories, my own complaints, the, the demonic ways, all of my own thoughts. Let me confess it all. Lord, how wrongly I lived. Today, let me my life be changed. Rejoice, my Savior is born. Rejoice, my Savior is born. Let it be mine. <laughs> 